It's a special day in Egypt, the start of voting in the country's first ever free and fair presidential election. Long lines formed outside polling stations with people anxious to exercise their right to choose now that they've emerged from decades of authoritarian rule. I think it's uh, wonderful to have finally able to cast one's votes and to be able to form one civic duty, which is quite important in this day and age. I came down to vote because this is the first election since the time of the pharaohs. Those casting ballots had 13 candidates to choose from, including Islamists, liberals, and men who served the regime of the ousted Hosni Mubarak. One of the front runners is Amr Musa, who served as Mubarak's foreign minister for 10 years. My message to the Egyptians, okay, this is a great day, a big day, a decisive day, and I hope they will select correctly. They will elect the president that can really lead Egypt at this crisis time. The election is likely to have wider implications for the region and the world. Many of those running, like Abdul Menem Abul Futah, have called for amending Egypt's peace treaty with Israel, which most people in the country still view as their number one enemy. No outright winner is expected to emerge from two days of voting. A runoff between the top two finishers would take place next month, with the winner to be announced June 21st. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.